Hello. Welcome back to Animal Crossing and Chillin' with your host, Kay Daisy. Welcome back to another episode of Chilled Out Animal Crossing Dailies while we chat about whatever. So this morning, I've just returned from a very nice dog walk on a very nice spring day. I am hoping to get some filming done today for my other channel. We'll see how well that goes since there is sunlight out today. And it is kind of annoying that some of my filming has to be dependent on whatever the sun situation is, the weather. Because if you don't know, if you've never tried to film anything before, daylight is the best light to use when you're filming. So um, when it's a nice day, you feel like you have to take advantage. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing something fun. Uh, whether or not you're playing Animal Crossing with me or not, or just cleaning the house, or doing some stitching, or doing some work. I am enjoying hanging out with you and doing some of my Animal Crossing dailies on my forever island, St. Rosie. Look at little Mr. Raymond out in the rain. It looks like a nice, cozy, rainy day on St. Rosie. Oh my gosh. I have some audio settings, which I need to change right now. <laughs> my little rise thing was like, do you need to start deep work? And I'm like, Bestie, I am actually working right now. Let's say start focus, 40 minutes. Your session started. Thank you. Do you hear, did you hear that? Can you hear my headphones? It's like dee 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 dee. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to like really pay for this productivity app. It does help. Like it does convince me that like, some of my work here that I'm doing on, on my computer is worth it and it stops me from like surfing the net. But it's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. All right, Isabel, what ha What say you? 11.06 a.m. on Saturday, March 30th. Another lovely Saturday, KK is here. Oh my gosh. Did we screw it up with KK again? I think we did, because it's 11 o'clock and I'm not gonna try and travel forward. I'm just not gonna do it. Besties, we're just, we're just not gonna do it. Not, at, at least not this week. <gasps> All right, I, my outfit. I do love the vine outfit. I think it's so cute, but we do have to change because it is raining. All right, 532 bells. Yes, we are rich. We are very rich. All right, we're looking cute, but we've got to get changed. All right, we've got to get changed, friends, because it is raining outside. And I figured today we were due, overdue for some time on the archipelago, because uh, I feel like it's been a while since I went to work, friends. It really has. We can spend a little time in St. Rosie, but I, th I really think we have to go to work. Like, it's time to go to work. Lottie hasn't seen me for a while. I feel bad. So let's just, let's see what's going on at work. Okay, so for a rainy day, we really should dress appropriately. Let's do... Do I have a, a nice raincoat? Look at this. You know, these are some of the early clothing I purchased and I still really like these raincoats. Oh my gosh, blue. We're doing a blue theme. Should I wear corduroys? Is it a corduroy day? Or are we skirt, skirting today? Could be skirting. Skirting could be fun. Pink skirt? Yes. Pink skirt. Um, hmm. Layered socks. Love to see it. And boots, of course. Rain boots. Um, if you're watching this video, let me know in the comment if you own a pair of rain boots wellies like these and what they look like. Because I have to admit, I did not own a single pair of rain boots until I was an adult. Why? I don't know. But I find that rain boots are the best investment. <laughs> if you, I mean, if you live in a place where it never rains, of course, like, isn't, isn't, isn't it like infrequently raining in California, Southern California? There's a whole song about it, right? Anyway, I find that it rains quite frequently here in New England where I live. Hat? And that a rain, a pair of rain boots is very useful. Extremely useful. And I wear them all the time. And my pair are very colorful. <laughs> they have like a little floral pattern on them. And I just adore them. Oh, that looks cute. Or should we do this color pink? Nah, this was cuter. This was cuter. Look how cute we are. We're so cute. Anyway, 
I always get compliments on the rain um, boots when I wear them because they're just, they're just cute. They're cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're so cute. Stop. We also need a, do we, do we need a brawly? I think we do need a brawly. Should we do a, like a custom brawly or we just, we'll just get a brawly from our, from our storage. I never use the umbrellas, so now's a good time. Now is a good time. Should we visit some villagers for, before we go to work? Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Our outfit is looking pretty cute. Pretty darn adorable. Okay, I've already had two cups of coffee today. <laughs> so hopefully I won't be as hyper. You know what? Are they, is, is that here? Is that here? I think it is. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Let's see if there's a, wow, I have a lot of pieces of clothing. Where are the brawlies though? Is it like, don't, please, 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 please. <gasps> yes. All right. Which umbrella should we carry today? Why do I have two pineapple umbrellas? That's suspect. Hmm. What do I feel like today? Kiwi, kabuki umbrella, toad parasol, tartan check. Where do you get umbrellas? Nook's cranny? Let's do the cherry blossom umbrella, just, just cause, just cause, cause it's almost spring. <gasps> Look at my pockets. Pockets are a little ridiculous. Let's do some pocket management. Oh my God, we are so adorable. We are just adorable. Okay, let's put some things in here if we can make them fit. <laughs> All right, put something away. Let's put away this, this, oh wait. <laughs> uh, this, this. This, maybe this, and we will get rid of everything else. We'll sell, oh, we can sell inside if we're gonna look at umbrellas at Nook's Cranny. <gasps> cute, cute. But I'll put my DIYs down here for that inevitable time where my other character from Instagram comes to collect them. I don't know when that is. Could be in a month, could be tomorrow. I don't know, but we're just gonna put these down. <laughs> okay, you know what? It should be relatively soon, cause look at this mess. Look at this mess, my friends. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. And during the um, post lewd to the last video, which I don't film, I did definitely catch a tarantula and it was uh, it was very uneventful, but it's in my pocket, and I need I need to sell it. Okay, a bubbleoid. Should we put him out? Let's put him out. Bubbleoid, you can be right here. Oh no! I just want to stand here. All right, bubbleoid, bubbleoid. Place item. Oh, he's got to turn around, please. All right. Is it gonna blow bubbles? Hello? Please. <gasps> yes. Yes. Look at how angry and cute he is. He is angry and adorable. Please blow bubbles. I'm I'm begging. Where are the bubbles at? <gasps> yes. Love it. Okay. We found a home for him. Nice. I guess we don't have to water any flowers today or anything. This would be a good day to pick vegetables, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Hmm. Let's make some money. Oh, let's, uh, do we, do we, how far, do we, does it cycle through my whole, yeah, okay, before we get to the umbrella, yes, okay, yes, all right. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am definitely not okay. You know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. I've actually recovered a lot of it, of my energy from the time where I said I was tired, feeling tired from the being in the um, being in the million performances last month. I think I've kind of recovered and I've I've got my energy back again and I'm feeling very productive today. So and I was thinking um, about like the weirdest things that have happened to me um, during opera productions or during rehearsals. And I think 
One of the most notorious, most hilarious things has been um, what my friends like to refer to as the palm frond incident. <laughs> so I was in this opera uh, called La Belle Helene, and it was a comedy uh, written by Offenbach. And we were singing it in English. It's supposed to be in French, but we're singing it in English. And there is this scene where the chorus, the um, the, the people in the chorus, were going to do this. We, I mean, we were singing, of course. But there was also this choreographed like routine that was kind of a dance with palm, palm fronds. Like, just... It, we were holding the palm fronds and waving them around. And... The time we spent rehearsing this palm frond dance traumatized all of us <laughs> because it just didn't seem to go perfectly any like at any point. And people struggled because not everyone uh, okay. They definitely, there's definitely a class. Oh, we should go to our mailbox and get the things we ordered. There's definitely like a class or two in college and in graduate school called like movement for singers, right? And if you're lucky enough and uh, I guess driven enough, a lot of singers take dance classes because it seems like in every opera I'm cast in, there's a, a dance situation where we have to, be dancing <laughs> there's a choreography 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 <laughs> so not everyone is at equal strength with their dance moves and the palm fronds I remember there was an actual rehearsal where like the palm front oh I was supposed to open this like in private but I, I, I got one thank you Michelle we'll open that one first anyway the palm fronds was like, oh, thank you, Michelle. Um, palm fronds was one where like it just took, it just took so long to like rehearse the palm fronds and it just never went well. It never went well and it was like traumatic and scary every time. Uh, there was one scene where I had to make a, oh, camera frog. I had to make a, uh, not make a table, but to set a table with a tablecloth involved as well. And there was a particular unfolding of the tablecloth that was choreographed. I remember being practicing this over and over again <laughs> and not getting it right for a lot of the time. Hello, Ruby. And then there was an incident where I had bread in a basket and I leaned forward during the first performance and dropped the bread out of the basket which was not part of the show. And I didn't know what to do for a couple of seconds, but then I pretended that I was, in fact, what I was supposed to be, which was a starving person in 15th century France. And I quickly grabbed the bread uh, downstage in a very desperate manner. The person next to me thought it was the most hilarious thing they'd ever seen and was holding back their laughter. And the stage director, uh-oh, stage director was so scared that I was going to do it again, that they asked whether or not we should glue the bread to the basket, and I ensured to her that it's not going to happen again. <laughs> All of these things that happened were so dumb, but it was, it's been a very, you know, these stories make for like a very enjoyable, like recollection with friends, you know, during the next show. We're like, remember the bread basket thing? And you're like, yes. Uh, what is this? Oh no, we're gonna put that in someone's yard, but we do wanna put away the earth eggs and the tree branch. Okay. Anyway, I am curious, do any of you have like funny stage stories? Um, because I know that like crazy things happen on stage and backstage and that sometimes there's, you know, things that happen you just can't do anything about and you just have to laugh. And other times, you know, there are things that happen that like make you scared for the next time. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all these things we have to dig up today in St. Rosie. We got money, we got moolah. I never bury the money anymore in my forever town because why am I doing that? And I say town, but I mean island. <laughs> 
it's really hard to get some of my language right in in videos I make about um, the GameCube version of the game in particular. I am tempted to say island, and when I play New Horizons, I am tempted to say uh, town. And it just it amuses me how much it frustrates people if I say island or town by accident, and they're like, "It's not." It's a town in this game. Oh, did I want to give it to her instead? Maybe. She is a bunny. I want all my bunnies to be really into bunny day. You know? So maybe we'll give that to Carmen. But anyway, um, I was just thinking of that while I was doing the dishes yesterday. And I have to say, I, I love doing most housework. I love it, it's fun, it's relaxing to me. But the two things I really despise doing and I try to avoid it as much as possible are doing the dishes and putting away laundry. <laughs> I hate those things. I hate, oh, another thing to dig up. The laundry is one of those things that can take a 10 minutes or 30 minutes, <laughs> depending on what exactly is dirty and this morning it took me like at least 30 minutes. But it was during when the Nintendo ND Direct was on and I enjoyed watching it with uh, in chat in a live stream. And it was really a great, I thought, a great ND Direct. I really enjoyed, oh, maybe we could put some eggs here. I really enjoyed it. I think there are some games I'm definitely gonna pick up. I'm definitely gonna pick up um, Stitch, which releases later today. I don't know what time, but I guess I'll uh, I'll get it later today. And it just seems like one of those before bed chill out games. Hello, Maple. I just wanted to visit Maple. I, I'm glad that you've recovered from when you were sick. Hi. So happy you're here. Uh, let's chat. I love writing tools. Just looking at them on the shelf in the store gets me dreaming of things to write. The latest writing tools come with all kinds of features, so there's bound to be just there's bound to be one for just about anyone. For me, there was that one special pencil, that one that made me care about what I used to write with. The softness of the graphite in that pencil made writing feel so good. Honey, it was inspiring. Yeah, that is so cute. And there's definitely some truth to it. I don't write as much in my journal, like my physical journal as I used to. But since I am a, a, a lonely only, which meaning an only child, a, a lot of the time, if I had, you know, like feelings, feelings, I would basically spend time working it out in my journal, you know? And I got a lot out. And I do remember being very excited about going to either the bookstore or whatever, the art store, and getting that special pen. And I think, what were those beautiful pens that were like, you know the ones I'm talking about, you, you see them in the like a nice acrylic display. Tabby's here looking adorable. Um, and they came in all these different colors. What were the, what brand were those pens? I know y'all know what you're thinking about and they're like fine point. And um, I don't even know what Tabby's saying. <laughs> I don't even know what Tabby's saying. Um, what? Did, I don't think I've ever seen this dialogue. Uh, anyway, I used to be obsessed with those pens. It, no, wait. They, were they called Le Pen? Were they called Le Pen? Wait. As in L-E-P-E-N. Two separate words. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to open Safari. But we're going to search for it anyway. Le Pen. <gasps> That's exactly what we're talking about. Le, I guess if you're really s saying it like in French, it's le, le pen. But the le pen, like microfine point pens, were my favorite and I would be obsessed. Like, let's say I need, I, I wanted to go once a month. Let's, let's, let's go, let's go by. Bye bye bye. Um, to the bookstore and get like a new Le Pen. <laughs> the main reason I wanted to go to the bookstore, to be honest, was to get the latest, um, what, not episode. 
What is it called when books release in in like different books series? The latest. I swear, my brain, my brain, is running out of hard drive space. It's so upsetting. Anyway, the latest Saddle Club book. I would want the latest Saddle Club book because I was into the Saddle Club so hardcore. This is, we're talking about, is the Saddle Club 90s or 80s? I think it's late 80s, early 90s. If you're not familiar, let's go to work. If you're not familiar with the Saddle Club, the Saddle Club was like a babysitter's club, kind of, which I didn't read, but for horse girls. Now, I was for all, like a horse girl. I was the ultimate horse girl. And Saddle Club had three main characters. Carol, Stevie, and Lisa. I'm trying to remember. This is, I'm trying to remember so intensely. Carol, Stevie, and Lisa. It's been years and years and years since I read any Saddle Club books. And they were all like best friends. And they all rode together at this barn and they were like a varying experiences i think that like i don't know anyway on the front of the book there was an illustration of course of all the characters and the thing that stuck out to me the most and we'll talk about representation is that the characters on the front of the book the main i guess sort of the main character or the character that had been writing the longest, had the most writing experience, was named Carol. And she, to my eye, little black girl, at the barn with horses. What is Mira doing here? On the pier. This is, I'm upset. <laughs> what, like, why are you on the pier? Now that that's out of the way, the client can hardly wait. So let's get back to the site right away. What? Wait, was I in the middle of like doing Mira's design? Must have been. Anyway. What is... Hold on. I will finish the story in just a moment. Is this... I never saved... Was this... This was the design contest. From Alexi Giovanni. <laughs> and I never saved it. What? When I, when I say I haven't been to work, I mean I haven't been to work. <gasps> I remember now. Okay. The theme was I scream for ice cream. So it's an ice cream stand but there's like sketchiness going on in the back, right? And also on the inside, I think, <laughs> I think there's some sketchiness. Oh my. <gasps> Not this. Not this. Hilarious. Look at... Wow. Um, yeah. Well, okay, here's the thing. I didn't win the contest, but I, I just wanted to go with the bit. Always commit to the bit. For me, I'm always... If there's a joke potential, I will do the joke to, I will commit to the bit. I'm done. It's It's been done for months, bestie. I'm done. Oh my god, y'all, we get to see the video. We get, <laughs> we get to see the video. Um. Um. Fear. Fear. Um. Fear. Fear, fear, um, mint. <laughs> I gotta use the D-pad. 
Because if I don't use the D-pad, I will go past something. Fear mint chip. Y'all like a mint chip. I know that like mint and like chocolate is like a really polarizing thing, which I never thought it would be until I was an adult and heard people like were horrible about like mint and, ch and chocolate, which I think is the best combination. All right, Mira, here's your, here's your house. What is this? I never saved this. I just turned the game off. Which, you know what, is a disease, okay? I keep doing that. I did it last, a few weeks ago for Throwback Thursday. Instead of saving the game in Wind Waker, oh my God, look at this. I cannot, I'm dead. Um, I just walked away and never turned the game off. And the Wii U was like, oh sweet, we're gonna turn off and not save your game. So a, like an entire two hours of gameplay, I lost and I had to do it over again. And it was, this is so, I'm dead. <laughs> this is so funny. Anyway, going back to Saddle Club, I looked on the cover of the of the book and I saw the author's name is Bonnie Bryant. I saw the little the the um the hero of the story, I guess, was a little black girl. And I was like, oh my god, that's so amazing. And it made me feel so good. Because I was a little black girl who rode horses. And, but I didn't see a lot of that in the general public. Look at the little Easter basket. <gasps> Did you guys know about this? Look at the little decoration. That's, that's so precious. Anyway, that's why I love Saddle Club. And Saddle Club, real good. <gasps> also, wait a minute. Hopefully, look at this. Adorable. I don't look at the background very much. And now that I'm playing and like tr noticing little things, I love it. Also, the little DIY thing there look at that adorable i want that though that looks like um if i'm if my like my plant mommy eyes it looks like some sort of a um pilea family of plant which i'm gonna be honest i have a hard time keeping alive i have one pilea and it's barely hanging on i'm looking at it right now it is sad Panda, but it's still alive after like four years, so it's fine. All right, thanks so much, Kate Easy. Oh, how much did I earn? Three, 30,000 pokey. Look at us. Look at us. I am gonna work a little longer. Can we change our outfit? Cause we're not looking, we're not looking too cute. We're not looking too, do we need anything from here? Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, let's, um, <gasps> wait a minute. Why don't we get, a vacation? Why don't we build a vacation home for one of our St. Rosie residents? Like what? Why are we not doing that? All right, let's, is this where I need to be? No, no, maybe here? Uh, change my uniform, yes, change your uniform. Anyway, I read Saddle Club for a long time. I loved it. It was my favorite book series and every month a new one came out and I made my, I dragged my, okay. Wow. I dragged my dad to Walden Books or any of the other bookstores that were around. The dress is really freaking cute. And I was like, please, I need a new Saddle Club book. And I would be obsessed. I'd read it. I also was a very um, big fan of the Linda Craig adventures. <laughs> so I read that one a lot. But Saddle Club was where it was at for me. Why are all of the rest of these here? Like... These are not work clothes, right? Is do, okay, are we doing the dress? Is that where we're at? I feel like, can I, can I have like a, oh, I can't have my, I can't have, I, my hands are already like occupied in this outfit. So I either have to wear like this. Rondoser, run, run, It's pretty cute actually. Can I? It looks like it. How it would hold a lot in real life, actually. Um, this might get heavy, but it looks pretty cute, actually. I might wear this one. Before I was wearing the satchel. Do I need the satchel back in brown? No, I like this. I like this. And I do like the bow. I might change my glasses though and put my little cute uh, bandages on. Do I need these glasses? Are so funny. What about these? Cute, these, cute, cute, cute. 
That color's cute. Should we wear different shoes? I feel like... Hmm. The basic pumps are cute. Because we look like we're kind of trying to be official, you know? But we're, we're still little and cute. You know what I mean? I feel like that... Um... Still. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like every time I wear, like, nice shoes... Or if I'm if I'm dressed up for a concert, I feel like um, I'm playing dress up, and it's like I shouldn't be dressed like this. <laughs> I feel like I walk past the mirror. I'm like, who is that? But that's a grown up. That's a grown up. Okay, listen, we're gonna go home. Do we have chocolates at home? I don't know. In case we don't, let's buy let's buy some. We can afford it. Whose vacation home should we do? I feel like, well, I mean, I feel like we have to do someone's vacation home we haven't done before. By one, okay. Do, you, do we call, do we call somebody? Or do we just invite, no, 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 let's do it the old fashioned way. Let's do it the old fashioned way. Let's just invite them. Whose vacation home have we not done? Oh, I know I've done tabbies. Which I have to say <laughs> was very upsetting, but we did it anyway. If you have not seen Tabby's Vacation Home, um, just uh, maybe check it out. <laughs> or I guess I'll show you mine. I can show you mine. But um, Tabby is going for the creepy vacation home. That's fine. It's fine for her. Okay. Um, who should we do? see trying to think <gasps> wait have we done rubies yet i don't know that's the thing is i don't remember who we've done yet so let's review our map here maple i don't know if we've done either or anka camel frog i think we've done teddy sure i know i've done let's see if ruby Needs a vacation home. Because you know it's raining today. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Marshall, I know I, I've done yours. I've done I've done Marshall's. I loved Marshall's. It was fun. Um, let's go talk to Miss Ruby. We saw her up here. I wonder if she's still there. Ooh, who's that? That's Sherb. Okay, we've done that. Um uh, Ruby. Uh-oh. Wait, is she home? She is home. Her just her like shades are closed is that normal for a rainy day i don't know <gasps> um this is pretty freaking cute what are you guys doing are you having lunch what are you making oh my god hello and you're wearing my, my design. Thanks for coming over. Another one of my friends is here. That's so cool. Um, let's chat. I'll totally make yourself at home. It's so cool to have you both here at the same time. Bunny date. I'm into this. I totally came to see Ruby too. Let's talk. Okay, Daisy. Do you have do you hang at Ruby's? I do actually. I hang out here all the time. I know so I I so never thought I'd see you both here at the same time. This has just turned into a big time part mini party. It did. Alright, let's take a picture because I'm obsessed with the fact that you guys are both here at the same time. Yes, ladies. Why is Ruby not smiling? Please, bestie. Can you smile? Okay, maybe if I do like a fun little thing, she'll get into it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So cute. Girls. And you look very cute in my design. That's not very good, but you look cute in it. Okay. Can I give her the chocolates right now? I really do think... In my heart of hearts, I need to replace these pancakes back here with moon cakes. Because it just makes sense. It just makes sense. Am I allowed to do this right now? Like, breaking off the party? Here you go, bestie. Oh my gosh, it's souvenir chocolates. You're totally the sweetest. Thanks, Katie Seeing this totally reminds me how I badly I need a vacay. I wish someone would take me to the resort. Really? You take me with you? Like, for real? Seriously? I can't tell if you're joking. Um, I'm not joking. Let's go. Sorry, Carmen. <laughs> Carmen's like gonna be left at home alone. That is so. 
<laughs> Carpet's like, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? That's so funny. That's so funny. Bye, Carmen. <laughs> oh, poor Carmen. She'll be all right. She will be all right. Let me know if you guys go to um, the archipelago, archipelago anymore. <laughs> because obviously if I haven't been in months, I haven't gone anymore, but I'm excited because I love interior decorating. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh my God, this is so cute, I can't. Oh wait, did I do it? I've done it before. <laughs> I've done it before. Well, let's, we could visit it. We could visit it. Dang it. I, I played, I played this a lot. I played this a lot because I like interior decorating. Should we go to it? Let's just go to it. Let's go visit. Um, I wasn't, I want to visit a home. Let's go to Ruby's house. So let's just check it out. I don't know. Ooh. There's the... So, I've, I, have I, have I done everyone's? Look at Sherbs. We've done, um, okay, let's talk about our St. Rosie vill villagers here. <gasps> Kitty, oh man. I'm feeling Kitty, guys. Who do we kick out in, in place of Kitty? Carmen? It's just the nostalgia vibes. It's shit, like, I... I think I need, I might need Kitty back in my life. Or, you know, frankly, I could kick out Honka and it would be fine. Is that mean? We'll see. We'll invite Kitty over for camping and we'll see how we feel about it. Okay. I've also done Shep. Shep lived on St. Rosie for a while. These are like early designs, early uh, Happy Home Paradise designs. I can tell because the style got different as I got more experienced. Not that I'm an expert or anything, but like, you know, you can tell like the first ones you did. And I made a video on this one and I loved this one. Um, a place of plants. Oh, this was so fun. I'm definitely gonna do this again on Instagram. Oh my God, look at I did Rilla. <gasps> this was fun too, loved this, loved this. <gasps> I've done maple, okay. Maple's house looks surprisingly like her vacation house. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm consistent, you know? Oh my God, Judy. Judy's recital hall. I'm living. Um, oh yes, we've done Camel Frog. It's not that good, actually. Look at that. This must be an early um, HHP build because there's no wall dividers. There's no columns. There's no nothing. So we should go and update that at some point. Um some of these look good to me and some of them look ter terrible. Uh, where is Miss Ruby's house? I know it's here somewhere. Oh my gosh, Marina's. Marina's house actually was pretty good, I think, despite the fact that I don't like Marina. Okay, here's Tabby's. We're not going there, but oh, okay, here it is. A place to admire the moon look suspiciously like her actual house. Let's go to it anyway. Let's go, let's check it out. I can't believe it. What, what is, the, what, what is going on here? Why are we in the desert, but there's ice? <laughs> what was, what's my, what was my thought process here? What's going on here, Kay? Past Kay. Like, what is actually going on here? I mean, I suppose I could redesign it. Look, the outside is trash. Why is it here? Let's, I mean, okay, let's take a look at the inside. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not that bad. It's actually kind of cozy. I, I don't mind it. And I like that it's dark. Okay. Well, past K did an okay job. I still don't know what's up with the wintertime bed thing. 
Like, what was I thinking there? Like, what, I, I don't think I ever would have done this now. But maybe I had limited resources. And this looks wild to me that I didn't put anything on the floor back here to make it look like the outside, you know? Um, but yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. I mean, I'll, I, I sure. Sure. I don't, you know what? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it, Ruby. I think that it needs some help. It needs some help. Um, but we're not going to do it in today's episode. But I don't like it. I don't like it. Past K was luncheon. She was out to lunch. I don't know what's going on. Past K, uh, D plus. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Past K. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Ruby. This is garbage and we're just, we're just going to go. We're just gonna go. Ruby, I I apologize. So who haven't I done? I'm confused. Carmen? I mean, can I still look at this? Is this does this work here? No? Okay, well. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, let's buy a claw machine and dip. Holy Maybe not. Maybe not, okay? I'm trying to save my pokey. Pokey. We're gonna see if we have one at home. It's not that serious, okay? Well, I guess the ones I haven't done are on the beach. We got Apollo here, we got little Bill. I'm so sorry. Is this not the cutest dog? My Rise was like, your focus session is ending soon. Thank you, Rise. Um, we got Taco Bell sheep here, also known as Carlos. He just reminds me of Taco Bell. He looks kind of like hamburger, and his yellow kind of reminds me of a taco shell. And he's got the like the Mexican flag sort of color vibes. I mean, not the yellow. It's just giving Taco Bell, okay? That's all I got to say about that. And then we got, oh my god. Is this one Kurt? Because Kurt is hurt. Is it, are you Kurt? Yeah. Kurt. That's the only right way I can remember his name is Kurt. Kurt is hurt. Okay. Um, and then over... Oh. Over here we got, like, the villages have done. We got Sherb hanging out. Well, I thought you were just at home. Yeah, I remember that vacation home I made for you. It's amazing? Thank you. What are you giving me? Is it a wall? What's that? Outdoor window wall. Thanks, bestie. Okay. And over here we got... People just having good times. Oh, Raymond, what you doing? Grilling? Oh, I'm just basking in the vacation life touchdown. Oh! You know what? Past K Daisy, I'm gonna give props for Past K Daisy on Raymond's vacation home, which is like a, what, what my impression of like a, like a suit store for like suits and stuff and proper, you know, flannel, wool soup place <laughs> and i think it gives that vibe how can i help you um how are things this is the best place to spend my days off uh that's good and i loved i think i did harry's house on stream let's look in the message bottle let's see if there's anything interesting in there uh, gotta do a DIY peach hat. We know this one already because it looks like a butt. Okay, well, we're not gonna do that. Um, Harry's house was so fun because it's just full of garbage. That was so fun. My vacation home was a cut above it. You know what? It is so it was Harry had the best. It gave me new respect for Harry actually because I just it was so fun how Harry's house was just trash. Oh my god, we did Meringue's place. Meringue's place in that is not bad. I don't think present day K would design that. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I Did I do this one on stream? I think I did. How are things? Shortcake. All right, let's take a look at the restaurant. I honestly don't remember what this looks like. And I've played through Happy Home De Designer. No, Happy Home Paradise a few times. But I don't remember what this restaurant looks like. <gasps> yes, I remember this one. The that the whole thing with villagers with the fork and knife that you just saw Olive just doing seems threatening to me. You, she Olive can't focus. The, she, there was a fork and knife. There's now the cell phone. There was the whatever she was doing before. 
Olive, are you okay? Oh, it's called Clover. That's so cute. Billy's stuck here. So just know that. Um, we got a little waiting area in the beginning. That's cute. And here's the restaurant. I mean, it's mediocre. Some of my other restaurants have been a little better, but this was the first one I designed. I do think Tabby is the head chef at Clover. I, if I'm not, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> Which to me seems like it could be a bad idea. And Chai, Chai is the like assistant chef. When I recommend we're hungry, it legit takes my willpower not to sample customers' meals in the back. That is so, don't tell anybody that. Tabby, what, what say you? Gasp, these ingredients, they're so fresh, so beautiful. I can't handle it. I can't wait to get cooking. Oh, do you need me? What you doing? I have an idea for a new creation. It's gonna be absolute star. Okay, drum roll please. Here it is, my pride and joy. Le absolute best peach jam. Oh, dang it, I already know peach jam. What I need is those coconut. Co wait, did I get the coconut cookies? I think I did. I got coconut cookies in another save and I had like never seen those before. <laughs> so I, th I still need a couple of recipes for this save. This kitchen isn't bad. I mean, it could be better, you know? But this is the Clover Kitchen. My vision for this restaurant was like one of those could be totally vegan, but maybe is more organic, sustainable food. So it's it's got like, you know, the, the plant stuff around and it's kind of minimal. That was the vibe I was going for here. One of those places, like farm to table kind of places. And I, every time I go to one of those places, I'm always like super happy that I went. My focus session ended according to Rise. And it didn't, uh, it didn't say that I did anything. I've told, I've told Rise multiple times that when I use my video recording software, I'm working. But it doesn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't believe me. It did not believe me. I'm going in the little clothing shop now, <laughs> I think. How does this look? I think this is called cake. It's pretty cute. You would 100% shop in a store named Cake. It would be on Newberry Street here in Boston and it would cost a fortune. You'd buy one shirt, cost you $100. Hi, kitty. I don't mean to brag, but recently a star of a quite popular TV show wore some of our products. I'm sure they did. Right now, all the things you got look kind of ugly though, not gonna lie. Like, I don't need, I don't need any of this business. Sorry, Zucker. Uh, but you know, it's giving special Newberry Boutique vibes, and I'm kind of here for it. I like cake. Again, I don't think this would be a Kay Daisy 2024 design, but it's not bad for a first time. It's not bad. Bye, kitty. Speaking of kitty, I think, I think I might need kitty back in my life. Mm-hmm. I really do. Let's let's head back. Let's head back. And let's just see how we feel. We don't have to commit to it, okay? Let's just see how I feel. I'm gonna get my amiibo book. Okay, I don't know what number Kitty is. I guess if I'm... If I don't, if I want to have the least amount of, uh, <laughs> of silence in the video, dead air, I should look it up online. Kitty Amiibo number. Okay. Kitty, according to the Googles, is number 166? 166. Okay. So, here, do I have Kitty's Amiibo first of all? Because if I don't, then that's a tragedy. One, uh-oh. Do I not have Kitty's Amiibo? That is, a tr that is a real, that's the real tragedy. As I don't have Kitty's Amiibo. Besties. It says 166, 200. Is it also 200? Am I gaslighting myself? No, 200 is Rocket. 
That is a tragedy. That is a tragedy, ladies and gentlemen. And them. And, and gentle them. <laughs> that is a tragedy. What do we do? We either get Kitty's Amido, Ami Amido, Amiibo, or we can do a villager hunt. But in order to do that, someone has to move out and it is Saturday, so that's not happening. Potentially, um, potentially I would not have big issues letting go of, okay, all right. Potentially, I would not having issues, I would not have big issues letting go of the following villagers. Anka, in place of Kitty, would be fine. Okay? Also, you know what I'm also not opposed to is recollecting Miss Judy. Miss Judy. Judy, because we don't have, I feel like Anka is cool, but she's not giving the drama that Judy brought to St. Rosie, and I kind of miss that. Because Judy, I found Judy to be particularly rude, and I loved that for Judy. I might need some Judy energy back on St. Rosie, so I'm either willing to accept Judy or Kitty in place of Anka or Carmen, frankly. Because we do have too many peppy villagers on the island. So either of these two can feel free to pass out. Pass out? Peace out! I do need to stop filming right now. <laughs> they can feel free to peace out. I used to feel like not about that way about Anka, but I'm kind of neutral. She's fine, but like Kitty though. Kitty or Judy. If, if I'm really, if these two are really feeling disposable, who would I feel comfortable to, you know what? If we had Bubbles again or Apple, I'm not upset about it. I'm not upset at, what happened? Who was that? Oh my gosh, it's Teddy. Teddy may be trapped on St. Rosie, if I'm being 100% honest. He has asked to leave several times and I've always said no. I don't even particularly, like, he's just... No, I love Teddy, he's the best. He's just, he's my, he's like a bro and I love him. And he's not allowed to leave, unfortunately. He doesn't know that, but he's just trapped, he's trapped. So, we've got two possibilities of villagers that could go. And I know that people have been requesting to leave. It's just the luck of the draw who it is. So, we may need to do just a tiny bit of manipulation. <laughs> for a, a possible villager hunt. So in the meantime, from rainy St. Rosie, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thanks for watching and thank you for uh, coming along in this chaotic episode. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>